Hi, welcome to this quick overview on our DFS bot. DFS standing for Daily Football Stats bot being a software that places bets. Now it combines football stats filters that we get from around the uh, internet globe and we put them into one bit of software to analyse. Along with that we have Betfair Live Odds and of course we've tapped into the Betfair computers with this bot and it looks at the markets that Betfair has going. So this is a combination of two products that we have previously released being the EasyBet bot, the Deluxe and the Standard version. This is a bot that actually places the bets. It looks at the odds criteria and the liquidity criteria and if they are right then it will place the bet. What we've done now is taken it a step further and we've added football stats into it. So not only can you look at different markets and different pricing but you can also add um, stats variations into it. So what I'm saying is that you can make sure that the match that's going to be bet on has certain football stats must be met before you are actually going to have the bet placed by the bot. And here we can see this is where the stats are coming from. Our daily football stats, this is a cloud-based software which is a separate subscription for people that, and they've been using it for the last four years. But what it does, we can see here, we're listing all the uh, different leagues from around the world with, uh, with the, the matches they've played, the wins, etc. So this is an overall look at all the leagues that are being played in football. Then it comes down into the individual games for the day, which is what you see here. And these are the stats that the bot uses. When you pick out a stat to be followed, say um, both teams to score must be 60% or more, this is where that stat's coming from. It's looking at the game, going across the columns. I mean, there's a lot more columns than you see here. There's 69 columns, in fact. It looks at them all, and then if those stats that you put in are, are, are met, then the bot places the bet. So here we have now the interface of the bot itself. And you'll see in this here, down the right, on the left-hand side are all the matches for the day. You can untick the matches you don't want. In the middle, if you're showing the markets, it, this one here is showing you all the stats because it's using the stats uh, option. And on the right-hand side, there are the parameters that we're setting for the price side of things. You can see there, that this is betting in the over 1.5 market. And we've got our uh, liabilities that we must have, like the limited... Uh, minimum amount match and the match odds must be 5,000 and under 2.5 and this must have 2,000. We do this so that the betting prices are an accurate reflection on what the general public's betting. We don't want to start betting on matches that have low liquidity because then that is giving us uh, more chance of being a false uh, reflection of the prices that are on offer. And then we have the home, away and draw and we can set in there the minimum requirements what we want that we want. Here we've got home at 1, maximum 1.8. So we want a very strong home team in order to be kicking plenty of goals and go over this 1.5 market. The next thing there is we have staking options, uh, both stop at a winner and level staking, and then we can control what we think of our um, stop at a loss options. In this next one here we have the same, same, same teams to that, but you can see there in the middle now it's showing the price option for the market and on the right hand side we've got the stats ticked so this is where we can put our stats variations that we want so for example the first line there we've got games played must be greater than five games we don't want uh, to get into a league that is only just starting off and the stats behind it are only from a very small pool we don't want that. So the, the bigger the game's played, the higher value of it, the more um, smoothed out that the results will be. Over 2.5 with this stat here, we're saying greater than 50%. So 50% of the matches played by the home team must have had more than 2.5 goals scored. Otherwise, the bet won't get placed. This is for the home. You can see their home total. That means the home, the home team stats plus the plus the home team stats when they are playing away. So that's basically all the home team stats if we click the home and total. Away means we're looking at the away team and the away team must meet these conditions. 
we can have different conditions for away home and then away total once again is the away team with its total of stats from home games and away games and combined stats mean we're looking at both teams must meet a certain stats together otherwise the bet won't go on so you can put as many parameters in there obviously the more you put in the less bets you get but you can uh, program the home the away the combined so you've got a lot of control over what stats you're going to use also it has the results being recorded as you keep going so that you can analyze how your different strategies are going and uh, you may want to tweak them may want to drop some may may want to um, add some extra conditions that's all there in the results and you can download export as you see the export button there exports it into a file that you can use in open office or excel okay this is an ai bot you may have heard of ai being artificial intelligence it does the analyzing and if all the criteria are met as i've just said then the bet is placed it's staked and it's recorded so it's all done for you hands-free you don't get involved with it other than when you originally set it up so that is what the ai bot function is to do also keep in mind that there are six working tabs there are three that are backing strategies so you can have three different backing strategies or the same backing strategy but want to use them in different leagues you've got uh, three strategies are for laying so you can make three laying strategies each strategy can run up to 20 matches at one time very rarely you, you wouldn't it would have 20 matches running um, but you can um, nominate to only have two or three tabs activated and it would only let you run two or three matches at any one time you have to keep in mind that obviously if you're bidding 10 minutes before a match match runs for say around about 120 minutes so when you've got one tab running it's going to be consumed for about an hour two hours 20 before it's freed up and can accept another bet it has two staking options which are stop at a winner and level staking and as I said, the results can be exported in a CSV format and it's great for researching your results and improving. So this is a smart betting manager. It bets when you cannot or don't want to. So it can bet 24-7. Um, you can run it on your PC. You can run it on uh, any Windows operated machine. Or you can run it like we do on a VPS, which means we don't have to worry about power cuts, internet breaks or that. It just runs 24-7 on the VPS. Occasionally we stop it and just restart it. It takes all the 30 seconds. This is just to clear the memory and to keep the bot running at speed. So why don't you grab it today and start enjoying the profits from AI football betting. It's going to give you a whole new insight. And you have to remember the bookmakers are all using artificial intelligence for their betting. This one is betting into Betfair, so you know your bets will be accepted. You're getting a true representation of what the game results will be, judging by the stats of what's gone before, and not just focusing on what the prices are being offered by other punters. So it has the pricing side of it, which is a good guide, but it has the backup side, which is the stats. And we all know football is a game built on stats. So thanks for watching this video. And I recommend grabbing the DFS bot today while it's at the very best price. On behalf of Michael, who's poured a lot of hours in that with our programmers to get this bot to the stage where it is now doing what it should, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully see you on the inside when you're using the bot. Cheers.